one of the very many things I love about the 259T complex waveform generator is that it has so many different outputs. We have the final output on the principal oscillator. We also have a square wave and we have a sine wave. The final uh, takes advantage of sculpting the sounds with uh, harmonics and timbre. And so we can get uh, a varied uh, dynamics articulation. And uh, I'm uh, sending that uh, to a low pass gate, opening it with uh, the uh, sequencer, and it's sounding like this. And I can send the square wave to the 296 spectral processor, uh, open the width, use the width as a VCA, opening it with that same uh, reference out of the sequencer, and then sending uh, a slowly changing uh, CV to the frequency sweep. So that we get this. So far we're dealing with just this oscillator. Um, yeah, that's all we're going to be dealing with. <laughs> Then the sine wave, sine waves love like uh, ring modulation, balance modulation. So sending that to balance modulator, which I'm beta testing and um, sending it, taking the pulse out of the sequencer, varying it. So we get these nice little uh, uh, crisp and uh, legato staccatos. So three completely different sonic timbral articulative worlds from just the principal oscillator of R259T.